Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Well, Japan and the United States of America will um, do some little military uh, drills uh, around Japan. So Japan and its master will uh, provoke uh, nobody. Correct? Correct. So this article comes from Sputnik from today, the 10th of November 2022. Japan, U.S. start military drills involving 36,000 people, 30 ships, 370 aircraft. What's up with all these three? 36, 30, 37. Okay, maybe it's a code. <laughs> now, the Japan, the Japan Self-Defense Forces and the U.S. military launched a major joint kin Kin sword exercise, kin sword exercise, on Thursday to practice actions to defend remote island islands of the Japanese archipelago. Well, uh, let's say you are the woodchuck, and if you don't know who the woodchuck is, is uh, the president, the supreme leader, the god of North Korea. Kim Jong Un. So the woodchuck. Let's say you're the woodchuck and you watch ba uh, you watch basketball. Dennis Rodman. And these guys are doing this next door. What should you do? You're gonna call your little hey, come over here, launch a few missiles. What would you do? Should you feel comfortable with that? No. How? What China should do? What? Be comfortable? I don't think so. Doesn't mean that this country cannot have uh, drills, may uh, have, you know, complete and organize uh, military. No, they can't have them. But then the other side maybe react in a certain way. So you should be okay with their reaction if your action is not really peaceful, if you know what I mean. 36,000 uh, personnel, you got 30 ships, and what, 37, whatever was, uh, 375 airplanes or whatever you had over there, didn't you? Yeah, 370 aircraft, 30 ships, 36,000 people. And the woodchuck should just be watching basketball and drink champagne. So, according to the Japanese Defense Ministry, about 26,000 servicemen of the ground, naval and air forces will be taking part in the drills from the Japanese side. That's only the Japanese. About 10,000 military personnel, including from the Space Division, will participate from the US side. In addition, 20 Japan Self-Defense Forces vessels and 10 US ships, as well as 250 Japanese aircraft and 120 US aircraft, including the Osprey tilt rotor, will be involved in the maneuvers. A total of four ships and two aircraft from the armed forces of Australia, Canada and the United Kingdom will also join the US and the Japanese military drills during the drills. So is this a World Cup or something? All these guys come together? What should the woodchuck do? I think he would be like, wow, I'm ready. No? Just imagine that, and just this is Japan, all right, Japan, and all those countries mentioned over there are at least 6,000 miles away, minimum, from that point. Now imagine that uh, North Korea, uh, Russia, and China would do a little thing in the Gulf of Mexico, a little dance with Cuba. How would that sound? With about, I don't know, 36,000 uh, personnel? Uh, 30 vessels and uh, 370 aircraft, plus this and that. Iran, too, would come over there and uh -uh, stick its nose, its nose a little bit. Would that be okay? I know you now, because it's impossible as of now. We say, yeah, well, so, so what? I don't remember the United States being so cool when uh, the Soviets uh, sent a few uh, non-missiles. They didn't have missiles there. No, no, they didn't have any nuclear nothing in, in Cuba. Just a few tubes 
so the guys could oh my god remember they were freaked out they couldn't uh, have sex with their uh, uh, male partners I mean uh, wives uh, those nights because oh my god they're gonna do the same thing we did in Cuba then they can't have it it was 1962 or whatever 62 right anyway so now we have these weasels Canada and eh? Australia and United Kingdom these are like the and Japan these are like the little fish if you see the shark you know, so, you know calmly you know swimming through the ocean boom, boom, boom. you always have little fish under his belly that's how they are showing fingers yelling showing making faces you know and the shark is just why because those little fuckers they know nobody will touch them but if the shark just immediately veers left and goes the guys are oh my god quickly follow him and then comes the bad boy and smack them but the same Lithuania Estonia Latvia Poland the same little freaking fish they show their finger and they're cool and should make faces at Russia by themselves they will be all nothing uh, I see this as I used to when I was younger let's say I was a boy a teenager young adult and I was in uh, another country where no fighting would not get you necessarily uh, expelled or necessarily really in trouble because you're gonna say if you tell I will fuck you up again okay here it doesn't really work that way but over there it did I'm telling you for direct experience so that you had weasels in a parking lot in the schoolyard you know who you should not anger you know but if you were in a little group together you your group you know you have protection the same that group you wouldn't touch certain people from other groups all right but you knew who was a weasel and who was the guy that you would uh, kind of avoid fighting for obvious reasons you know you get injured he gets injured maybe he kicks your ass let's put it this way so then you avoid but you know the with a weasel and the weasel is mouthy and makes jokes and all that and you look at them as a motherfucker if I catch you in the middle of the night on a dark alley I will fuck you up but and then the guy will see you hey Emil how are you yeah motherfucker remembers bangs bangs bang <laughs> go and tell the boss and the boss will say what did you have with the fucker where the fucker is a fucker you said it too I mean you would like my little fucker do that to you I don't know that's why and the big guys they get along the fuckers are the ones that create problems the little fish those are the ones right here we got Japan Japan doesn't is uh, Japan is nice by itself you know hey Emil if you see but if you see sees you in the neighborhood alone you know but if he's with another guy he's gonna be like hey what the mm, you want me to huh huh yeah okay I catch you uh, when you go upstairs in your apartment building you remember when I'm gonna visit my friend over there my girlfriend and I'll see you there I will run after you I'll catch you and beat your ass on the stairs like I did it many times before <laughs> I'm just kidding oh I wasn't well it happened before anyway that's a uh, uh, these are true stories from my uh, tumultuous uh, childhood <laughs> I get beaten yeah I got beaten I beat people yes I did so it was not like unidirectional and I was not a winner all the time <laughs> but you learn you don't keep your mouth shut and to run fast sometimes <laughs> uh, and yell and yell loud loudly when you get caught so <laughs> the adults get you out of the, the enemies uh, maybe too much wine okay the current practical exercises have become the 16th in a row observers from Australia Canada France India New Zealand the Philippines South Korea Great Britain and NATO have been invited to them the Japanese Joint Command said in a statement oh why not Russia I didn't see China there did you see do you hear China do you hear me say China <laughs> no I don't think so but uh, why not North Korea because these are the targets that's why <laughs> oh man yeah okay good so these guys do their own little hanky-panky when then the other ones are doing a hanky-panky everybody's like oh my god look at those guys are doing well 
And these were not like, uh, hey guys, we're gonna do it tonight. <laughs> okay, bring your flashlights. No, not like that. These things were done, you know, they announced everybody in, in, ahead of time, probably a year. They were annual uh, exercises and so on. It was not like a robbery, a looting that occurs. I will meet you at 9.30. Bring your freaking mask and your flashlights. All right, I'm telling you, it's too much wine, but anyway, a little sip. Uh, cheers, Norok. Some very good uh, Muscato. Thank you very much for being with me again today. So we don't need a red wine. The red one gives uh, uh, <laughs> stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just. 